by now, it should be obvious that I have an obsession, a glad addiction, a glad addiction with speaking really fast. Oh, wait, I didn't mean that. <laughs> with having certain fingering techniques for emulating other types of non-keyboard instruments, like steel guitar. So, I'm gonna help you deconstruct and figure that out in case you've ever seen a snob musician play that. And you're like, wow, can you show me? And they're like, no, and you're like, you're snob. So, I'm all about the anti-snob here and sharing that knowledge freely. You'll need a steel guitar kind of instrument it's one of the patches on general MIDI. So even if yours doesn't sound as good as this, you can attain greater realism because it's not just the samples themselves, but how you play it. Like if I play it in block chords, it doesn't sound very realistic, very authentic, very earnest. But the key thing to remember with guitars is you have a delay, you strum a chord. It's not a chunked block. So it's always gonna go like, it's not, and it may be, or, but definitely not, don't, don't do that. Man, oh, crap. So, when remembering this, you'll want to strum. You can do left or right hand. I'm just seeing what that does. <laughs> okay, okay, you don't need, don't need to worry about that for now. And on top of that, you can alternate between your hands to finger pick, which is handy when you're doing something such as this. So see this? It leads off just with the left hand here. And then is joined by the right hand to come up with a cohesive whole. Do this for other chords. That is kind of fancy, it's like in like mariachi. So notice how much more real that sounds like. That sounds unnatural, freaking unnatural. You want think liquid flowing. That was a bit too close for comfort. That's more like it. It's good for speed runs like that. Just keep that variation in mind. You'll understand a lot better if you have an opportunity to record yourself and play back and compare that to a real guitar player. And as I've often said, it's not the same. Of course it's not, nor is it ever totally meant to be because if you wanted that kind of authenticity, you would go for that. But to, to strive for an emulation and to take a little further beyond. This is nice here because I think it's, yeah, you can hear the jangle of the strings. It's nice. I, I can hardly wait what instruments will sound like in five, 10 years from now how big the sample sets RAM will have. Another thing to do is just have the left hand chord. Now this is a little bit harder, but it's like. And I'm holding down the sustain pedal. That's how I'm able to get it ringing out like that. When I change the chord, then I lift and put the sustain pedal back on. Almost Middle Eastern there. Now that starts to sound more like a hammer dulcimer. And if that was the case, we would play it like this. This is sort of a tangential distraction. You 
you want to let your hand become tense and then relax like this. That's how. It... <laughs> anyway, so let's get back to doing some some beautiful chording, and I'll show you the example. So, thumb, thumb, and third finger. Oh God! And pinky there. Practice getting them as close as possible without blocking. Don't do blocking. And then you can learn to float a rhythm. So a more constant, steady tempo like this. And then you got a track that you can put down and layer with other instruments, what have you nots. Just like that. Enjoy. Enjoy.